everyone, it's Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this super easy Silly Monster hat. I love this hat because it is all stitched in double crochets, and just by changing the colors, you get different looks. And I'll talk more about yarn when we get just a little farther on in the video. Another thing about this hat that I really love is because it is such a simple pattern, it's super easy to adjust it smaller or larger as needed. You could make one for every member in your family, no matter what size their head is. Now this is a brand new pattern release and I like to release a silly hat pattern every year in October because, you know, it's Halloween. But of course this hat could be worn anytime because it is a warm hat to wear. Now you can find this crochet pattern on my blog and as always I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. To make a silly monster hat, you're going to need about a total of three ounces of medium weight number four acrylic yarn. And I just grabbed some out of my yarn stash. This one I did in nice bright colors. This one I'm doing in more of a pastel for our demonstration. Basically, you need about an ounce of three different colors or you could grab one of those striping yarns that you have on hand and you don't know what to do with. That would also make a great monster hat. Another thing is your variegated yarns. Use your variegated yarns and make another kind of hat just by whatever yarns that you have on hand. So basically, you're going to need about three ounces of any yarns that you want to use. I'm going to be using these three colors and these are just some, uh, I think, Red Heart Super Saver or I Love This Yarn that I already had on hand. This one might be the Michaels brand. I can't remember. But they're just some acrylic yarns, 100% acrylic that I had on hand. And this is a great way to use up some of your yarns and make some fun hats. Pink, yellow, and this sort of orchid, purple. And then you'll need a little bit of white for the mouth and the white of the eyes. If you want it white, you could always do that yellow and this part pink or red. Use your imagination and see what kind of monster hat you can come up with just by digging in your yarn stash. Now we're going to be stitching today with our eye hook. This is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need a needle to weave in ends and then of course you need your scissors. The hat measures about 20 to 22 inches around. And of course, that depends on how tightly that you stitch. Three of our foundation double crochets, and that's what we're going to be starting with. So we have a nice stretchy band. Three foundation double crochets equal one inch. Now you'll need to add in increments of two stitches because the row two, we're going to be alternating double crochets and front post double crochets and you want to keep your stitch count even one double crochet and one foundation double crochet which we will do on row two so just to be clear three foundation double crochets equal one inch and you can add three for every inch you need to adjust the band of the hat if you want to make it smaller, subtract three foundation double crochets per inch. I'm going to be making the hat as written in the pattern. So I'm going to need 60 foundation double crochets. We'll begin with our slip knot and then we'll chain four chains. We're going to yarn over and stitch a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. We'll go in, pull up a loop, yarn over and only go through the first loop. 
we've made our chain. Now we'll yarn over, go through the next two, yarn over and go through the next two. Our chain three counts is our first and here's our second. Now we're gonna yarn over and go in that chain that we just made, pull up a loop, yarn over, just go through the first loop, yarn over, go through the next two, yarn over and go through the next two. So now I have three foundation double crochets. Four, five. Our chain three at the beginning counts as our first, and then I stitched one, two, three, four. I need to stitch a total of 60 foundation double crochets. I've stitched my 60 foundation double crochets. We're going to lay it out flat and join it together, make sure that you don't twist the band because this is the band of our hat. We're going to join to the top of that chain three where we began with a slip stitch. And we're going to chain one and that's just gonna hold our stitch in place. Now you'll notice there's an opening here. Don't worry about that right now. We'll come back in with our needle and close that hole. And what we're going to do next is change colors. I've got my yellow already here, which is my second color that I'm using on this hat. And if you're using a striping yarn, of course you don't have to change colors. I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn. I'm going to bring in my color two. My tail out of the way there and chain three. We'll disregard that chain one that we added at the end of our purple row because that was just a stay chain one. And it's just there to help our stitches stay in place. Our chain three here counts as our first double crochet. Now we're going to stitch a front post double crochet. And that means we're going to stitch around the post instead of the top. So we'll yarn over and go around the post and stitch our double crochet. We're still stitching a double crochet, we're just putting it in a different place. And so what we're going to do is we're going to alternate double crochets and front post double crochets. So I'll double crochet in the next stitch. Then I'll front post in the next. Double crochet in the next double crochet stitch and front post in the next double crochet stitch. See how we can see those stitches? Double crochet, front post, double crochet, front post. And we'll repeat this working all the way around our hat band. Now your stitch count will remain the same throughout your hat. The number you started with on your band will be the same number you have throughout your hat until the last two rows when we do some decrease stitches. So I started with 60 on my band and so every row until my last two rows I will have 60 double crochets or front post double crochets alternating with double crochets just on these next two rows. Oops. There we go. Front post on the next one. All right. So what we're going to do for row two is alternate double crochets and front post double crochets working all the way around our hat band and then we'll join back to this first chain three. 
Here's my last front post double crochet and I'm going to join to the top of this chain three. There we go with a slip stitch and then we'll do that little chain one snug it down just to hold that in place and this is the way that row two should look with your front post double crochets alternating around. Now I'm going to change colors again so I'm going to bring in my pink yarn because I'm doing three colors and I'm going to bring in the pink just like we did the yellow pull that down a little bit there we go and again we're going to disregard that chain one that was just to hold it in place and then we're going to chain three and now what we're going to do for row three is we're going to front post in the next front post then we'll double crochet in the double crochet stitch. We'll front post in the front post double crochet. And then double crochet in the double crochet stitch. And this is going to give us a nice stretchy band for our hat. And again, our stitch count is the same. So for row three, we're stitching a front post double crochet, the front post double crochet of the previous row, and then a double crochet in the next, front post double crochet in the next, and double crochet in the next. And again, we'll repeat this all the way around our hat band. And once we get all the way around, we'll join back to that chain three where we started. I've completed that row of pink, alternating double crochets and front post double crochets. Here's my last front post double crochet. I'm going to join to that chain three with a slip stitch. Now we're going to be changing colors again and again. If you're not changing colors, you don't have to. <laughs> I'm going to be changing back to my purple color. And yes, changing colors a lot will cause you to have a few ends to have to weave in, but that's okay. I love the effect of the stripes. All right, so now I'm going to put my lavender back in, which was my first color. Snug that down and chain three. All right, now for row four, we're going to be stitching in the back loops. If you'll notice on our row here, we have front loops and back loops. The front loops are facing you, the back loops are facing away. And we're only going to stitch our double crochets in those back loops. One double crochet in each of the double crochets around working in the back loops only. And that's going to give you this little edge that you'll see right here that will make our band stand out and look pretty. So for row four, we're stitching one double crochet in each double crochet or stitch around working in the back loops only. And we'll continue this all the way around our band and join back to our first chain three. I've completed row four, one double crochet in each of the double crochets around, stitching in the back loop only. And you can see how that leaves a little bit of a ridge there. And it helps our band of our hat sort of stand out. All right, so we're going to join 
to our chain three with a slip stitch, that needle out of the way there, and chain three. And so what we're going to do for row five is we're just going to stitch a double crochet in each double crochet around. No back loops, no uh, front post double crochet, just one double crochet in each of the double crochets around. And remember, our chain three counts as that first double crochet. And remember, the number of foundation double crochets you started with is the number of stitches you should have on each of your rows until we reach the last two rows where we do some decrease stitches. So since I started with 60, I'm going to have 60 double crochets on row five. Whoops, there we go. And so I'm stitching one double crochet in each double crochet around and I'll join back to my chain three. So I have completed row five, one double crochet in each stitch around. I joined to my chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. And so for row six, we're just going to repeat what we did for row five. Our chain three counts is our first double crochet and then we'll double crochet in each of the double crochets working around our hat. And then once we reach back around, we'll join back to that chain three, just like we did for row five. One double crochet in each of the double crochets working all the way around. So I have repeated row five for row six, one double crochet in each of the double crochets around, joined to my chain three, but I didn't chain three this time. I'm going to cut my yarn. I'm going to bring in my yellow yarn. And then I'm going to chain three. When you're changing colors, Always do that chain one, two, or three, or four, whatever you're doing, after your color change. If I would have down here gone ahead and done a chain three in the pink, I would have one stitch that's the wrong color. <clears throat> and the same thing would happen here. If I went ahead and did a chain three in the purple or lavender color, I would have one stitch on my yellow row that is the wrong color. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to repeat row five for seven more rows. I'm going to do three rows of the yellow and then four rows of this pink. And they'll all be one double crochet in each of the double crochets around, join to the chain three and chain three. And I'm going to do three colors of yellow and then I'm going to change to the pink and do four colors of pink. If you're not changing colors, you can just do seven more rows of row five. And so what we're doing is we're repeating row five, just like we did on row six, for seven more rows. The color changes are up to you. I repeated row five seven more times. I did three rows of yellow and four rows of pink. And again, the color changes are up to you. You could stripe it every other row. You could do three and then switch back to your lavender if you wanted to. I just wanna finish my hat in the same color that I have down here, which is of course this pink. This brings us to row 13. And now we're going to do the 14th row. And we're going to be doing decrease stitches on the 14th row. All right, so we chained three. And now we're going to stitch the next two double crochets together. Let me bring that camera in a little closer. All right, our chain three counted as one double crochet. And we're going to stitch the next two together. Yarn over, 
go in the first double crochet and pull up a loop. Then we'll go in the next double crochet and pull up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook instead of the normal three. We'll yarn over and go through the first three, yarn over and go through the next two. And by doing this, we decreased by one stitch or stitch two double crochets together. In the next stitch, we're just going to stitch one double crochet. Now we're going to stitch the next two together. So yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, go in the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the next three, yarn over, go through the next two. And so we're alternating a double crochet and then stitching the next two together. And this is going to cause the top of our hat to decrease or come in a little bit. One double crochet in the next and stitch the next two together. And this is the same whether you made your hat bigger or smaller, this row is stitched the same. One double crochet in the next and stitch the next two together. And you can already see how that's pulling in a little bit. And we're going to do this all the way around our hat. One double crochet in the next stitch and stitch the next two together. And repeat all the way around for this row. Then we'll join back to our chain three. I completed row 14 stitching a double crochet then stitching the next two together and repeat all the way around. I joined back to my first chain three and chain three. And now for our last row, row 15, we're going to just repeat what we did for row 14. We're going to stitch the next two together because our chain three counted as our first and then double crochet in the next. Stitch the next two stitches together with a double crochet decrease and double crochet in the next. Stitch a double crochet decrease or stitching two double crochets together and a double crochet in the next. And this is going to bring the top of our hat even farther in together so that we can gather it closed. So one double crochet in the next and stitch the next two together with a double crochet decrease or stitching two double crochets together. It's called the same. It's stitched the same and called two different things, I mean. You can call it a double crochet decrease or stitching two double crochets together. All right, so we're alternating double crochet and stitching two double crochets together all the way around the top of our hat. And again, you can see how it is pulling it in and getting it ready for us to close. We're going to repeat this all the way around again and join back to that chain three. So I've completed that row alternating stitching two together and a double crochet all the way around. I again join to my chain three and now we're going to tie off but you need to leave a good amount of yarn so we can close the top of our hat up. All right now we're going to turn our hat wrong side out And pull that string through and there's all the weaving in we need to do. There we go. We'll grab that needle, thread it on that tail of yarn, and I always get more yarn than I need. I would rather have too much of a tail than not to have enough so that I can weave this in. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go around the tops of those stitches and put our needle in and out in order to gather close the top of our hat. So we're just going in and out those stitches. Okay. 
almost back around, going in and out the top of those stitches. All right, now what I like to do is kind of bring it up, make sure those stitches are nice and high, and give it a good, nice tug. And I'll go ahead and just put that through there, just like that. I'm going to give it another nice tight tug, and then do this. Okay, now, I don't want there to be a hole in the top of my hat, and sometimes that can happen. So what I'll do is I'll just go across and across this way, making sure I don't go through to the front. We want to keep these stitches here to the back. And this is just some extra stitches to make sure that hat is not going to come undone. All right. All right, I think that's good. And so I'm going to go ahead and tie that off. But I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail of yarn. And that's because we're going to use that when we attach those cute little antenna to the top of the hat. Now we do have some weaving in here to do. And of course, just take your needle and make sure when you weave in, you stay in the color or you end up with the stitch in the wrong color. And just weave back and forth, go through fibers and stitches, not holes, until you're comfortable that that's gonna stay put, and then you can just clip that off. I do use a little stay knot, which is where I just kind of loop it, and then I'll weave it in, all right? So go ahead and tidy up the inside of your hat, and we'll flip it over, and here is our cute little beanie. And of course, it's a cute hat as it is. To make the antenna, or antennae, however you want to say that, we're going to be using two strands of yarn, and that's because we want it nice and stiff so it sticks up and looks adorable. All right, we're going to start with a little bit of a tail because we're going to use that tail of yarn to attach it to the hat. All right, so about, oh, six inches is probably just fine. There's our slip knot. We're going to chain 12. All right, you can see how I use two colors. I think it looks pretty. All right, we're going to double crochet in the second chain. This is gonna give us that little circle at the top. So yarn over, go in that second chain and stitch a double crochet. All right, now we're gonna go in the next stitch and slip stitch back down the chain. And I think you'll see that it's already kind of stiff, and that's what we want, because we want it to stick up on the top of the hat and not flop over. Although it does look pretty cute when it flops over. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's one. And see how it has a little bit of a circle there on the antennae? Alright, now we're going to repeat what we just did. We're going to chain 12 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We're again going to double crochet in the second chain. And then slip stitch in the next chain and then back down the chain. And this will be our second little antenna. Just slip stitch down. And if you've never worked with two strands, just take your time. Make sure you grab both those strands of yarn. And this is the only part where we're using two strands. All right, I'm going to cut my yarn. Again, leaving myself a long tail, probably more than I need. 
so we can attach it to the inside of our hat. And this is the way that your antenna should look. To attach the antenna, we're going to take our hook and go in the center a little to one side. And we'll grab two of those strands and pull it to the inside of the hat. There we go. Now we'll go right next to it. And pull those two strands to the inside of the hat. All right, so here's two sides. I'm going to pull those nice and snug. We're going to tie one and two knots. Then we're going to take that strand of yarn that we left, and we're going to take all three of those and tie a knot like this. And push that knot as close as we can get to the hat, and just cut that. And so now our hat has cute little antennas. <laughs> to make the eyes, we're going to begin with our pupil color. I'm going to be using pink. I'm going to do the white of the eye with white, and then I'm going to trim it with purple or lavender. <clears throat> we're going to begin with our slip knot, and we're going to chain four. We're going to stitch eight double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook. The first three count as one, and we need to stitch eight, so we have a total of nine. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops, yarn over, and go through the second two loops. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> and nine. And we'll join to the top of our chain three. And we're going to change to our white yarn. So I'll clip off that pink and that little bit of pink yarn barf there. Add in the white. There we go. And chain three. And then we'll stitch two double crochets in each of those double crochets around. A ball in there so it doesn't roll around. <clears throat> All right, so two double crochets and each of those double crochets around. And this is gonna make a nice big and silly eye. You can use one eye, you can use two eyes, you could even use three or four eyes. <laughs> it's up to you how many eyes you wanna put on your silly monster. I'm using two on mine. <laughs> All right, we're almost around there. One and two. And then here's our last one. One and two. All right, so there's the white of our eye. We're going to join to our chain three. And again, we're going to change colors. We're going to do the edge of our eye with this white. Now, don't worry about that hole. I'm going to show you how to close that up. There we go. Now, this time, we're only going to chain one. We're going to stitch one single crochet in the next and two single crochets in the next. One single crochet in the next double crochet and two single crochets in the next one. One and two all the way around the outside of our eyeball. <laughs> Oops. 
Then we'll stitch that all the way around and join back to our first single crochet. So I stitched one and two single crochets all the way around. We're going to join back to our first single crochet and we're going to cut our yarn and I've cut about 18 inches and we want the front of this to look nice so we're going to take our hook and go in the next set of loops and pull that loop to the back and then tie off to the back and that's just going to help it look a little bit more consistent on the front of our eyeball edge. All right now we're going to grab our needle we turn it over and we want to close this hole in the center of our eyeball unless you want to keep it open. All right, so we're just going to thread that needle with that tail of yarn and we'll just go around that hole and close that up securely because I don't want to hold the middle of my monster eyeball. There we go, and I'll just continue to weave that in. There we go. Frayed a little bit on me there. All right, now we have these two strings, and I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot. And the reason is because this is going to be sewn down, and so that's not going to worry about that coming undone. And that gets that out of the way. Now we need to weave in this white one. And as always, when you're changing colors, often you do have to tidy up the back. There we go. And we have this one. Now what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to tie it as well, like we did here. We're just going to tie that down, because that's on the inside of the eyeball. It won't be seen. All right, so now we have our eyeball all tidied up, ready to go on our hat. Look, we've got a little hole there. We need to probably close that better. All right, so here's my hat. I've already got one eye already sewn on. And I did a yellow in the center, white, and then pink. And then I'm doing this one. I'm going to make this one go up just a little bit higher so it looks a little bit more silly. All right, so I need my needle. And we'll thread that on. Now, you can hold this on with straight pins or safety pins if you want to. I don't. I just put my hand up underneath if I'm happy with where it's at. <clears throat> and then I'll just go under and come up. And what we're going to do is we're going to follow this braid-looking loop section where there's two loops around and stitch it that way. All right, so I'm going to hold that on with my hand. And I'm just going to go in and out those loops and the first time I go around I'm pretty much just doing what I call basting I'm getting it in place all right so I'm stitching around making a little bit bigger stitches this way I can make sure it's where I want it before I go around again and it will poof up on you a little bit that's the nature of this eye and I love that it does that how this one kind of pooches up a little. Those antennae are getting in the way. <laughs> All right, I am liking where the placement of this eye is, so I'm not going to pull those stitches out and start over. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue going around until I've used up the rest of my yarn. But that's how it's going to look. See, I've got one eye up higher than the other. Looks a little silly. I love it. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to go back around again. And when I go around this time, I go back and then up. Okay, then I'll do the next stitch. And then I'll go back and then up. And that just gives you a little bit better hold. If this hat's going to be worn a lot, you don't want those eyes to come off. That could be heartbreaking for a child or even an adult <laughs> to have your, your little crazy eyes or silly eyes come off your hat. All right, so almost back around. 
I'm liking how where it's at. I'm liking how it's attached. So I think I'm just going to go ahead, turn it inside out, and weave that in. And I'm just going to make sure I go through several stitches. And that I like how it's attached. All right. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> I am so much in love with this hat. It's so cute. To make that little curvy mouth, I'm using white. You, of course, could use black or green or whatever color that you would like. We're going to start with our slip knot. And we're going to chain 13 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. All right, we're going to place a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Then we're going to place three single crochets in the next. So one two, three. Now we're going to place one double crochet in the next five. So yarn over, go in, one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to skip <clears throat> the next two and place a single crochet in those last three. One, two, three. All right, we're going to go ahead and tie off, but we're going to cut off a long piece of yarn. Go ahead and just tie that off. And you'll see that it has a natural curl down here and a natural curl up there. And it makes just a little bit wonky mouth. And I, I love it, I think it's super fun. Before I attach it, I want to go ahead and weave in this short tail real quick. And we'll just go like this. It'll give that a little bit of a point there. And then we'll just go to the back and weave that in. I want to go ahead and take care of that tail of yarn now so we don't have to worry about it later. All right, now we have our silly little mouth. I'm actually going to put it over a little bit because I kind of like that. And again, I don't pin it on. I just put it there, I thread my needle, and I go for it. You can put a pin or a needle in there if you want to hold it in place. I want it to be a little bit wonky, so I'm going to turn it a little. I'm going to go in down here and I'm just going to follow this edge. Make sure that it curls where I want it to. Now we have a little hole there, so we want to kind of squish that up there. I'm going to get the tip of that curl there. I'm going to pull this up so you can see. I want to squish it here so we close up that curl. And the truth is, if you want to have a different kind of mouth, you want to smile or... Um, you know, a different sort of mouth. I'm going to come down here and kind of pull that up because I want that to be a little bit curvier. There we go. like that much better. But anyway, if you want a smile or a frown or, or, you know, a zigzag mouth or whatever you want to do, of course, use your imagination and make your smile however you would like it. I'm going to do the same thing here because I want this one to curl this way. So I'm going to bring it down. There we go. Now we got a silly little grin there. And then we're back over here. Isn't that funny? I just, for some reason, I just think that's the funniest thing in the world to have that kind of crazy little mouth. <clears throat> but you can have any kind of mouth that you want to. 
Looks like we got a string sticking out there. Let me cut that. That's probably from where I weave that in. There we go. All righty. Now, I'm just going to go in and weave that in. Now, like I was saying, you can put any mouth you want to on your silly monster. You can put as many eyes as you want to. You could even add more antennas if you want to. That's the fun thing about a pattern like this is it's a basic pattern that you can use your imagination and have some fun with. And that's how easy it is to make my silly monster hat. You can adjust it to any size. You can change the colors to any colors that you want. You can make it solid, variegated, or even use a striping yarn. You can have two, three, four, however many eyes you want to. You can change the mouth and the antennas. Just use your imagination and have some fun with this silly monster hat. Mm -hmm.